Okay, a few things to discuss about injectors. I'm doing some repairs for this weekend and keep seeing the same stuff. So I got to tell you, these here are my injectors. Notice the Wanders products. Um, just an update. I've gone to the stainless uh, quick change adapter over the uh, brass. See, I got brass and stainless. I'm going with stainless now unless you guys opt for the brass. Uh, one thing to note about all these injectors, they're consistent. Every single thing about them is consistent. Um, specifically, the, the heart and guts of the injector. That guy, the stainless nozzle bushing. It's important that you use consistency in these things. That way you get consistent dilution ratios right that's the whole point of using an injection sprayer to get consistent dilution ratios uh, coming out of the sprayer okay but just a few uh, point yeah here check it out this guy sent in five injectors uh, Cody Ransom good guy um, lots of inconsistency not his fault he's just buying injectors trying to keep his business running um, but I have to drill all these brass ones out and replace them with stainless they all had different diameters that's like uh, a heart with different sizes of valve openings, you know. Um, you know everything from a child to an Olympic athlete to a pro football player. Different sizes, you know. Vastly different dilution ratios inherent to these injectors, just because of that little thing called a nozzle bushing. That's what I call it. Another important point I'm, I'm noticing here is, uh, oh, he's got a really good injector. Yeah, right there. That's one of the original DEMA injectors. Love this thing. Okay, St. Louis, Missouri. Got the adjustable knob. I've been through this thing. He's, uh, Cody sent it to me without a draw tube, so I put my draw tube on there with the, with the um, Oedeker clamp. Kept his... Uh, retainer bracket or clamp and um, knurled knob going and this thing draws great I'm afraid it's opened way too much but I'm gonna let him adjust it. it it drew it passed the test I didn't change the nozzle bushing on this one he already had stainless Dima normally puts stainless nozzle bushings in their injectors so this is state-of-the-art, except it is brass. See the zero? That's a marks a lot. Mark, magic marker I put on there, zero. It flunked the life test. I used this, uh, this uh, gauge here to help me determine the size of this opening on the front of these injectors. This is what determines the ultimate life of these injectors. If this gets too big, it doesn't matter what's going on in here it won't draw there, there's got to be a drop in pressure on the output side water's coming in water's going out see the arrow if there's not about a 30 percent drop it won't draw and that's what controls it right there it, these are all brass we're getting away from brass these are all stainless any of my injectors are stainless all stainless all these injectors that came in every injector made except mine is brass and it's not a big deal but when you look at the life okay that's a zero it's actually still drawing great he might get a couple more years but that opening in there flunked look at this there's another one flunked there's one doing great three years of life that's a hydroforce. It's an old injector, but it's got plenty of life in it. There's another one. There's a, that's one of the original hydroforces. Look at the font. It's identical to the, to the old DEMA. This is when hydroforce broke away from uh, DEMA and started making their own injector. But uh, it's basically identical. And uh, look at this. On all of these, I'm giving you guys a new draw tube, new ball and spring, stainless quick change adapter and the most important thing I'm noticing from talking to you guys is hey my injector doesn't work one of their main reasons is this knurled knob it it's misleading it gives you the impression that you can just hand tighten it and that's good enough you can't just hand tighten it you got to put the pliers on it guys if you do that then it won't leak 
if you notice, at the base of the draw tube is this uh, knurled knob. Inside is an O-ring that's held in by a little Teflon washer, okay? It's really important that that thing gets a good seal. Otherwise, it won't draw at all. And what's causing this problem is these old caps. It's another case of inconsistency. Look at this. I can't even... He sent me all these caps. I can't even get this cap on this injector. Now I can't get it off. It's stuck. Whatever. You see what I'm saying? You see that big rib? Whatever you call it. Flange. I'm cutting mine off. If you look close, that is a hydroforce cap. But I'm uh, grinding mine down. They're loose. But who cares? They're not going to affect that knurled knob. This is the problem. The knurled knob won't spin very easily. Okay? And uh, I can't do this with one hand. The fact that it won't spin, if you go to unloosen the cap, you can inadvertently loosen the knurled knob, okay? So don't let that happen. Um, get this new style cap. In Cody's case, <coughs> if I can't spin it properly like this one, it's another one. It's impossible to turn this thing. I shouldn't be sending this back to him because he's going to inadvertently loosen this draw tube knurled cap It'll leak. He'll call complain. Hey, your injector doesn't work. I just paid you to fix it. Yep, you did. I should have given him this cap here. So all my caps are ground down. No more of this flange sticking up. This thing here is... There we go. It came off. See, another case of the flange. It wouldn't even go down. Inconsistency. We're done with all this. You get the Wander's injection sprayer. You get the Wander's repairs. You get this cap okay so it's the only cap I sell I actually learned this from um, I'm thinking the guy's name one of the guys on Facebook complained that he he couldn't uh, get his cap to turn yeah to screw it onto the jug and that's when I first realized that these caps don't always work so there he goes guys all five of these are working now and all I had to do was change out the nozzle bushing to stainless give him a fresh draw tube and in several of these cases, give him a new cap. <clears throat> and he's back in business. I'm most proud of this Dima because I'll bet he would have never got this thing to work. And all it needed was a fresh draw tube. Have you ever seen an injection sprayer rebuild kit that offers you a draw tube? No. Because that'll fix the problem. Hell no. Let's don't do that. Let's sell them a bunch of junk parts that they don't even know how to install, much less will solve the problem. Here's what he's getting back. A bunch of knurled caps, springs, balls, not a big deal, okay? You want that in the rebuild kit? No. Yeah, the ball and spring maybe, but you need a draw tube, you need a quick change adapter, you need a stainless nozzle bushing, you need a new cap. How many of you guys are getting that in your um, rebuild kits? If you're not, you're wasting your money. 99% of the injectors I repair, and I repair thousands every year, I, I, it ain't even 99%, it's probably like 99.999%. Get a new draw tube, okay? And you guys are always asking me, where's the metering tip? It's not where it's supposed to be. No, 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 it is where it's supposed to be. That's not where it's supposed to be, where you think it should be. Where it's supposed to be is down here where you can get at it underneath the little strainer filter screen whatever you want to call this little acorn acorn strainer is what it's called in the industry all right so there's your lesson for the day on injectors thanks for sending yours in cody we're going to get them all all five working for you with some min minor dinky little parts five qc adapters washers nozzle bushings balls and springs Oh, and five new draw tubes, and you're going to have to buy yourself some new caps. Buddy, these caps suck. We're not using these caps anymore. Order yourself some caps off my store. Every one of them will come like this, okay? And they'll spin like a top. They'll spin very easily, so they're easy to secure onto the top of the jug, right? That's the way they're supposed to be. 
I think they were in the old days. I'm not sure what happened to cause this problem, but uh, I'm fixing it. Let's get consistent, okay? You don't have to buy my injector. You notice none of these are mine. This is the first time Cody has sent in injectors for repair, although he did buy one of mine as a uh, backup. But now he's going to have six injectors. One guy, maybe he's got two vans, two, three guys. Now I don't know. I thought he's just one man show. The guy's got six injectors. What the hell's he got five? I mean, before me, it was five. Why has he got five injectors? Same reason you guys got five injectors, because regular suppliers will sell you crap you don't need. Bottom line, fire them. Call me. I'll solve these problems for you. Thank you.